Seeing that original balcony and just hearing that music is just the stuff of dreams. And that's one of the reasons why I love the original Blade Runner. It does an amazing job at atmosphere and point and click mechanics, but having a good story that I think everyone will be satisfied with. It's nice to know that you can still play this game pretty nicely in 2023. And with this ultimate modding guide, I think you guys will love it. Welcome to today's Ultimate Modding Guide series, a guide helping siphon through the best mods on the internet to give you an even better replicant experience. And with this one, I really think you'll be having a huge blast with Blade Runner. You know where I could score some cheese, like this stuff? A disclaimer before I get into this modding guide, I'm not going to be touching the Enhanced Edition. That's a different separate version that Night Dive Studios did a pretty solid job on. However, I'm not going to be covering that. But for those who want to play the original physical experience and anyone on GOG, I think this is a version you'll really love. There are two methods to be playing Blade Runner. However, I prefer one of them just because Another version doesn't have it, but let me explain it. ScumVM, which is a pretty great rewriting script program that isn't emulating the original PC experience of a lot of point and click games, but rather it's rewriting the script and making it easier to play on modern hardware. And then basically it's a one-stop shop to doing everything that you need to to get point and click games running, Blade Runner included. It has an incredible amount of video options that allow you to scale to pixel perfect representation, nearest neighbor, and if you also wanted to add scan lines and filters you can do so as well. Audio settings also allow for subtitles, so for those who prefer having that option, you can do so, and of course, interchanging controls, which is a great aspect. It really is an incredible program, and for 75% of the people, this is pretty much where the modding guide would end. But for the other 25, myself included, this is where you still need to keep going. ScumVM does not allow you to use original saves from Blade Runner into that. And it makes sense because it's a rewriting script that uses newer save files. So you can't transfer that. So this is where option two comes in. While it doesn't have an official name, Modern Replaying has created the Blade Runner alternate installer, which basically takes everything that is in here and installs it in your computer. It's its own installer taking all the information from all four discs of Blade Runner and installing them on your PC. It actually allows amenities to play it on Windows 7, 8, and 10. I haven't tested on 11, but should be fine. And by then you're ready, except one more essential improvement. On replaying site, a file called hdframes.dat allows you to copy and paste that file and put it into directory. And basically it makes act two and four a little bit easier to play and makes some sprites and images a lot more visible than if you would have installed it without it. It's absolutely a necessary component if you want to get this version of Blade Runner running, but it's nice to know that you can get everything nice and concise. Having the CD in your drive is a must in order to launch the game, and once you do so, you notice that the game is in 640 by 480 makes that in full screen perspective. And unfortunately you cannot change the options and the resolutions. And this is where one of my favorite programs, DX Wind, allows you to change any kind of retro program and puts it in a windowed screen. It's really nice too, because you can do custom resolutions. So you can double the scaling of 640 by 480 and double that to 1280 by 960, which is a double scaling of the original and looks really nice on a lot of computers. I only have a 256 by 1080p ultra wide monitor, so I can't get it anything higher, but considering if you guys have any 4K screens, it looks absolutely wonderful. Just remember to turn on OpenGL, that way if you are using OBS to capture and stream, you can do so. It took me two days to realize this and that's why this video got delayed. And most importantly, your original save files from the directory of Blade Runner also works on here. Now, why does this matter? I actually personally do play Blade Runner on my Windows 95 PC. However, I do like to sometimes switch those save files and bring them on to the PC experience on Windows 10. So I like having the ability to transfer save files. I think it's a very cool option. I know it's a little more niche, but I do like to go through those avenues because I think nothing is better than having old and new hardware meet together and having a lot of nice, simple amenities. But what do you guys think? How are you going to be playing Blade Runner? Do you prefer to be using the Scum VM or this alternate installation by replaying? I think it's a great option for those who do have 
this sucker right here and you can play it however you want. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you really do appreciate it. I want to thank these people right here for supporting the channel and always doing a lot of great things and I really appreciate you guys. But also if you want to see other videos I do, right here is a great option. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you very soon.